So here I have a MAGFest staff badge, and uh, they're very similar if you had a supporter badge, if you had the foresight to know to get a supporter badge. These are actually circuit boards with some very interesting things on it. So this particular one here, um, actually they all have the hardware for this, they all have a programming part and a sort of synthesizer part. It's got two touch sensors, it's general purpose, I'm not really sure what we're going to do with it, but um, I'm sure some people at the con are going to have some fun. Uh, at any rate, it needs to be populated. These all come with like a, the, for, for the registration, however, they don't come with any parts. So I'm going to do that here, and we're going to have, I'm going to try to have at least 25 units ready at the convention. So I have all the parts laid out what I'm going to need. I have some solder paste and I have a toaster oven and I'm going to place the parts put in the toaster oven and we're going to check it to make sure it actually works. The first part I need to do here is squeeze some of the paste out onto this little piece of copper here so that I can work with it. So I'm just going to go whoop and oh that is plenty right there. I've got my TLO here, too thick like object, and I'm going to start picking up some of the solder paste and applying it to the pads. So this only takes a couple of minutes. Don't worry about getting too precise on these soiks. Just the natural wicking process of the solder paste, the natural surface tension, will cause it to be just fine. Okay, looks like I got them all. I'm going to leave the solder paste out just in case I forgot one. Alright, now I'm going to place the parts. First I'm going to go for this programmer here. Make sure you get the polarity or direction on the dip chart, dip, or sorry, swig parts correct. Sit it in there. See that the solder paste should naturally kind of wick up around the, the parts of the pads. Let's put on these capacitors for this crystal here. Well, now I gotta go find and add the parts that I forgot. Let's add the last few parts now. Okay, all of our parts are added, time for the toaster oven. It's in the toaster oven now, I'm going to turn it on and uh, I guess I'm probably going to just kind of preheat it up to about a little over 200 for about 10-15 minutes. Uh, it's just to get all the parts normalized just because I don't necessarily keep them in very dry containers, so they got to kind of dry out some. Okay, I'll come back soon. All right, it's been in here for a while now, and I'm going to set this up to about 500 degrees and let this thing flash over. Okay, it's almost done flashing, so I'm going to turn it off. See the one part that I had wrong, actually, uh, tombstone, but whatever, we can fix that. It's not even part of the programming circuit, so I can test this without that. Okay. Okay, after you do that, all the parts align, and it's ready to cool off and be tested. Okay, I have my regular tiny ISP programmer here, plugged up to the board. I have not tested anything yet, but um, could even have the, the plug-in backwards. I'm going to just see if this burns. Did not burn that way. Let's try the other way. Up, oh, it's flashing. And the green light came on, which means that the processor woke up. So I'm also going to have to flash the, uh, the fuses. 
Okay, they're flashed. Now let's see if the device appears as a USB device. Let me just unplug this, plug this in here. No, it didn't short out or anything. Okay, let's go over to the computer here. And... Aha! It in fact found the device and everything else, and it sees the other, uh, the other part, the, the AT Tiny uh, 85. So let's go over to a folder that we can test that with. It's programming that. We do tiny ISP term. Oh, perfect. Now we're running the touch sensitive test. So I'm going to hold this up here. And if I touch this one, oh, we get a, a signal from 0 to FF. If I touch this one, we get a signal from 0 to, well, not quite FF, but it's pretty close. So, um, oh, maybe it's just I'm not, yeah, I'm not putting enough pressure on. Okay, so it looks like this badge actually works. Um, probably going to test out the synthesizer part of it sometime. But totally, these badges actually do something.